Hi everyone, this is my face. Hi, you haven't seen it in a long time. Um, say hi to Solis. This is my plush I got of him recently. Anyway, this is an unboxing video. I have no idea to do this. I've tried a couple different intros at this point and I hate all of them because I hate staring at my face because I'm using a front facing camera on my phone because my webcam sucks. Uh, this is also Solis. This is part of the, um, this was that, the shawl you could get. It's like a tapestry shawl you can hang on the wall. Currently have it hanging on this. I'm sitting on my floor, um, because I just got, as you'll see in the title, I just got the box of things for the, um, for Veil Guard, the special edition stuff. Uh, and I thought I would do something for it, even though I hate seeing my own face. Ha <laughs> But surprise, this video will go up on release day, which is tomorrow for me right now, on the 31st. Um, I'm going to put it up in the morning before Veil Guard releases for me at 10 a.m. And um, I will be getting dressed up, slight, like a little spoiler, a little, was it like a little cliffhanger? That's not the word I'm looking for. Foreshadowing? I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, I have been accumulating things for the past like month or so in order to dress up uh, as my, at least my, as my inquisitor, because I obviously don't know what my, um, rook is going to look like yet. So I have the elf ears, I have paint for Vaseline, I have other accoutrements, uh, that was the worst French accent. Um, but I'm also right now wearing a Skyhold sweater. It's really, really comfortable. Just got it recently. I love it very, very much. Um, anyway, that is not what the purpose of this video is about. This video is about me unboxing Veil Guard stuff. I was tempted to cancel this after I heard the whole World State shenanigans, which, by the way, I probably should not gesture with a knife on a YouTube video. Um, this is not the place for Twitter arguments. That's what Twitter is for. If you're going to be pissy, if you're going to be, hmm whinging, whining, you know, this is not the place for that. This is also not the place for spoilers. Um, to be fair, I will be having somebody else who is not, again, it's a close knife. Um, I'll be having somebody else who doesn't know anything about Dragon Age, um, perusing my comments for the next little while, just to make sure there's no spoilers. People are getting a little bit weird about this game. I don't know what it is about, man. Listen, I have plenty of complaints, and I'll get into it uh, t on the later video, I guess, uh, at the beginning of Velgard. Um, but right now, this is me opening the goodies, bo the goodies box that I got that didn't come with the game. You need to buy the game separate. Um, so, yes. Anyway, I hope... I don't know. I don't know if any of this is going to make it in, but let's hope I don't slice myself open for content. It does have, it's got the fragile, um, also me, remind myself if I show my address to block that out. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I've done one unboxing video before and that was for Thane. Thane's plush is up there. You can't see him right now. He's not a part of this video. <laughs> I got the Thane statue, uh, like a really, one of those really, really nice ones. Um, it's currently in storage unit because I, you know, live out of my car. Um, but my sister and I have been planning this where I come, I'm opening the box, <laughs> I come and play Veil Guard for two weeks straight, uh, while I take the time off of work. So, anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no, the method of holding it while trying to open things did not work, so I will just, <laughs> you'll just have to believe me. Oh, wow. Okay, so the box is super nice. I don't know if this is going to be upside down for you guys or not. But don't look at the rest of my room. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's hope that doesn't topple over on me here. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but this is what it looks like, which is super nice. Honestly, like, I'm going like, to keep the box, <laughs> you know? That Dragon Age on the sides. Okay, I'm excited. This is really nice. And it's like, it's like a hinge lid. This is nice. <gasps> oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's sit. I'll show you. What does it say? Things always seem impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. Varric Tethris. All right, warnings. <laughs> there's, uh, there's stuff in here. Don't do anything stupid. All right, here we go. 
Let's see if this is, I can even, if you, you guys can even see this. Nine years ago, when we released, we, nine years ago, we released the final chapter of Dragon Age Inquisition Trespasser. At the time, when we talked about what the final shot would be, we thought it'd be cool to end with a dagger stab into the map. Where? Let's say Minrathis, because we were pretty sure that's where we wanted to go with the next game. Now, here we are, releasing the newest chapter in the world of Dragon Age as finally making good on a promise we weren't even completely sure we were making. But where else would we go besides the heart of Devinfer, the magical empire that has always looked at the edge of the Dragon Age stories? And while the shape of the game and the story has shifted over time, we always knew that this game was the one that would resolve the story of Solus once and for all. From that, we've never shifted course. Once and for all? Oh. <laughs> As fans of the franchise ourselves, we wanted to honor the rich legacy of the Dragon Age games that have come before while welcoming new players to join us in Thetis. This is my incredulous face. You're telling me that. You look at me in the eye and you can tell me that. I don't know. Where do I, I always look at myself when I'm recording. You're going to look me in the eye and you're going to tell me that you're wanted to honor the rich legacy of the Dragon Age games that have come before when you're not even going to give us an actual world state. I can't, I can't not look at myself. When you're not going to give us an actual world state. Just, just a preview of my biggest gripe for tomorrow. <laughs> Um, to the us, that meant returning to our core tenets of authentic and relatable characters, this is good, rich world building, yes, and stories that are at times joyous and other times heartbreaking. Perhaps most importantly, we wanted to build a game in which you could see yourself, whether through the companions you'll meet or the characters you create. It's taken the combined efforts of hundreds of people to craft this experience, and each has put part of themselves into it. We are beyond proud of every single member of this team, and we're incredibly grateful for the patience that you, our fans, have shown. To us, this Dragon Age game is a return to the kind of storytelling Bioware is known for, characters you care about inside stories that matter. Welcome back to Thetis. Corian Bush, Game Director, and John Epler, Creative Director. Well, because this, hmm, sorry, <laughs> this bodes well, because um, truly, when I was thinking about what really makes the games for me, like throughout all the ups and downs we've had of the announcements over the last couple months um, is that uh, it's characters right and that's why Dragon Age 2 which get you know get off the bandwagon apparently those people who are coming out of the woodwork who are apparently like no Dragon Age 2 was good actually in order to use it as a weapon against Veilguard um, get off the get off <laughs> because uh, I've been a fan of that game since the start I've always loved it <laughs> and uh, the reason I think that it was it was the essence of what makes Bioware good which is excellent characters storytelling yes but storytelling is secondary in my mind to the characters of Bioware games um, those are the the, the inhabitants that you fall in love with, you know, and that you, you know, you hate or you love or whatever, you know, like they, oh, there's something there always. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm not even looking at the box, but like there's this massive, <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is the Solus Dagger from the trailer. What is, this is probably, I don't know what that is yet. I'm going to look at it in a second. Hang on. This is the glowing dagger that, uh, Solus was holding. Hang on. Okay, yes. In that uh, trailer, not that one trailer with the characters that was like Suicide Squad, that was a bad trailer, we can all agree. Um, oh, it just lit up! I don't know what I did, but it just lit up. <laughs> this is actually, it's cool, it's it's very plasticky. It's very plasticky. Uh, this is definitely um, not, not the fanciest thing I've ever seen, I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, it's the world's, like, largest dagger. But to be fair, Dragon Age, I've always noticed this. They're like, here's a dagger, and it's, like, the size of a sword sword. And they're like, here's a sword, and it's the size of an entire elf. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I don't mind, because I like playing warrior elves. So, <laughs> um, but this is cool. Um, the glow is definitely nice. Is it? Okay, yeah. It does look, especially this, like, supposed to be, like, marble, I think, or something. Um, it's a little cheap looking. A little cheap looking. But, listen, Solus held this. So, where is he? Where did I put him? Help him. Save him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He gets to have it. <laughs> But this is pretty cool. This is gonna look nice, like hanging up on a wall or something. Well, I say that, but I live out of a car, so like it's gonna look good on my sister's wall. I don't know. 
after thinking about it not on camera and like you know under my own pressure that i was giving myself anyway uh i was trying to the way i was trying to say is it looks pretty cheap and plasticky and i was expecting it to be made from resin and i was expecting the metal parts to actually be metal you know and maybe for there to be an actual like you know fake sort of jewel in the in the top like in the in the handle um so yeah, that was, I think that's it for me, is that it's very plasticky when I was expecting at the very least resin with like a lightweight metal. So, um, alas. <laughs> um, but where's the power button? I like accidentally turned it on. Oh, okay. It's in here. One of the, or in, on this, on the inside of this. So there's that. I guess here now you can see it without the glow. Hmm? Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, what was this that I threw so threw aside so callously? I can't even remember everything. I think there's like a potion bottle in here. The dagger is specific. Um, and that, I guess to say with their note that they wrote, um, the reason I bought this, um, I should have said this at the beginning. Maybe I'll put this at the beginning. The reason I bought this uh, special edition thing is not because I'm like, you know, woo, Veil Guard's gonna be the greatest thing since like sliced cheese. Uh, it's because I've always regretted not being able to get any of the like special edition stuff for the previous games. And even Andromeda. I actually really liked Andromeda special edition stuff and I didn't get it at the time because I couldn't afford it. And I regret it because they had a, like a fully legit like helmet that you could wear and it looked really, really cool, you know? And so I've always wanted to get like a special edition thing and I've never gotten it for, and I've never felt strongly about any game as strongly as I do about Mass Effect and Dragon Age. So, you know, finally I'm like, okay, now I'm in a place where I can get something. And most of the, most of the stuff in this box was pretty uh, Dragon Age agnostic, I guess you could say. Um, kind of went with any game, um, except for there's like character cards, I think. And, um, character poster, I think, maybe, and uh, the dagger. But as long as it's associated with Solus, I don't mind. So, pre uh, precursor, I guess, for the uh, uh, a prologue for Veilguard, I am in the camp of people who romance Solus and will be trying to save him. But my personal headcanon is not, it is fairly tragic. That is what I think will happen and what I hope will happen is is a tragic outcome not a happy outcome for either of them for my inquisitor or for solace necessarily so i'm not here like oh solace just needs to be saved i'm like solace needs to wake up and i'm going to slap him until he does um and my inquisitor loves him very very much and so do i but that doesn't excuse what he wants to do is the thing Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is uh, this is going to be so terrible to show you guys. This is the character poster. It looks really good. Okay, I don't know how it's it's so rolled up, but like it's it's pretty shiny, you know? I can't see the camera, so I can't see if you guys can see it, but like, you know, it's pretty good. I like it. Um Personally, I've been eyeing What's his name? I don't, I'm bad with the names still right now. Davrin? The Warden. I've been eyeing the Warden, but I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. Like I heard his voice and I was like, mm. I'm very much a voice person, um, which is why I fell in love with Solus in the first place. Because I heard his voice on a trailer and I was like, who's that? And I like, I, like I was like, oh, okay. So I started looking into it more and I was like, okay, I need this game. Because I hadn't got the game yet, but I saw the trailers and I heard his voice and I was like, I need that for myself. So I got it, but um, I'm kind of eyeing mm, 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 the crow guy now at this point, which is probably anybody who knows me is not surprised. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Tosh is is a Tosh and Neve are maybe some good one good ones too. I really wanted like the necromancer because I love me a silver fox, but I don't. I think I've heard his voice, and I'm not. Like, I don't know. I don't know, though. I don't have my hands on the game yet. I'm like everybody else who's, like, throwing out, like, spoiler, like, you know, day before Let's Plays or whatever. I don't know. I heard, I've heard i heard that briefly. That people are, like, putting things up early, and I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> You're just going to get in trouble. Ooh, this was the thing I was so excited for, actually. So this is the map. We have been asking for a, a legitimate Thetis map for eons, it feels like. Um, and actually, I will put a link in the description of this video. There's a company called Dual Wield Studio, and they make merchandise for my favorite author, Tamora Pierce. Um, and 
like official merchandise and they just partnered with Bioware to do a couple like official things and some of them are like character card things that I'm like I don't know whatever what the cool thing that they have is a like a blanket a map of Thetis blanket and I love map blankets I think they're so cool and so and like so fun and it looks so nice and they keep little Solus plushy keychain too where he looks pretty sassy and so I might get that but it's the map stuff that's really cool anyway <laughs> unboxing video so this is what it's a it's like in um a quiver the map is and there's not yeah just it's just for that oh my gosh this is looking so nice already do, do, do. Yeah, let's see if they have it upside down. Nope, there it is. <laughs> you can't see the whole thing because I can't see the whole thing. But there it is. And it's a nice material. It kind of, I'm not going to lie, it kind of reminds me of a nice, uh, like, placemat. <laughs> you know? But wow, the art on this. We've got the Anderfels. We've got a Dalish, uh, I almost said Alluvian. There's probably an Alluvian on here. So yeah, there's an Alluvian right there. Um, Dalish Aravel. Um, Boy, if we get to fight a Kraken, I don't know. That would be so cool. We got the Canari Longships. Uh, Tavinter, well, probably Minrathis itself with like the floating city up here. There's the Anderfels, obviously, uh, with the Warden Griffin stuff. Um, you've got maybe Kalsharag. This is not the Deep Roads. We're too far north for, or not the Deep, um, not the Deep Roads. The Deep Roads are everywhere. Um, the name escapes me. Maybe I'll edit it in here. Um, we go there in Origins. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the main Dwarven city that we go to all the time. Um, but yeah, this might be Kalsharag instead because uh, it's further away uh, and on the war table last year or what you know not last year almost 10 years ago um cal they we were encountering cal Shirok in like to venter adjacent areas when we were doing like the far north was it west uh you get one war table mission where you can i think it's one or it's like a series of them and it ends up being from Couch Rock. And you're like, like the, the lost Dwarven City, the lost Dwarven City. The one that was abandoned by Orzammar, that's the name, uh, by Orzammar and now they have a grudge. Mm, and we've had hints that Couch Rock is actually still active, um, but keeping to themselves. Um, so now we're getting that more. Obviously you have Orle down here at the bottom with the, with the lion. Um, and you have what is it? No, Navara here with like the City of the Dead. More Aravels down here in the south and the Dales. And Ferelden with the dog. I love the like juxtaposition of like the dog. It's going to be hard to see. The dog and the and the lion, right? They're like kind of circling each other. Um, and you have, uh, we have Kirkwall. Boop, beep. Right there. Yeah, I'm so, I'm just real I'm I'm very excited. I'm very pleased for this. I've been wanting one of these like legit maps for a long time. You could get some that people will kind of print off, you know. As far as I know, last I checked, which was a long time ago to be fair, um, people could, like kind of made their own or like kind of took the images from the games and kind of printed them. Um, but like, as far as I know, we didn't have an official printed Thetis map from Bioware themselves. And I love the artistic rendition on this one, right? Like the the artistic imagining. Um, is this too long for an unboxing video? It's probably too long for an unboxing video. They gave you charging cord for your glow up, glow up dagger. Um, and we've got a potion bottle. My legs are starting to fall asleep. I need to go faster on this. <laughs> um, I was excited for this. I love collecting little glass, like potion bottles, like alchemical bottles. I think it's really fun. How do I... I don't know. There, it's a little easier to see against like an actual background, <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. I do like it. It's very kind of Tavintry looking into the design with like the hard angles. I like it. It's very cute. Very cutesy. Very demure. Do I edit that out? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and these are the character cards. I'm not going to look at these actually because these are character cards and... Um, like place cards for the places you're gonna go as Rook and the people you're gonna meet as Rook. Uh, and I don't wanna know. 
Yeah, I want to. Uh, well, I don't know. Bioware has been posting so many spoilers on their own, so it's like not a surprise that other people have been as well. But it's like I started watching some of the materials that they were putting out like months ago, and I was like, holy cow! There was like three massive spoilers that they themselves just said. So like I stopped watching uh, the promotional material because I was like, ah, I would rather find this out on my own in the game, like I'm supposed to. So anyway, not gonna look at the character cards, but okay, hang on. Maybe we will look at one. I just don't want to get too spoiled, but I'd like to see the art. I would like to show off the art, maybe. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't have, as far as I can see, I have two cards that I can see. And the first one I thought was maybe just the, the back of a card. It's not. This is the back. I don't know. You guys can see it. Again, this is just my phone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the front. And I was like, okay, yes, I loved, I was hoping we'd keep some of the Inquisition style of art. Um, and I was like, okay, maybe this is just a placeholder card and they were going to have like words and stuff on other ones. They aren't because this is the next one. This is my man. This is my man. There he is. In all his glory. Let me just, I just need to look at him for a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. The wolf too in the background with the, yes, the dagger. And that, like, headpiece he has, this is amazing. This is really, really beautiful art. I know um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the tragedy of Solus and my Inquisitor, honestly. Like, that's, I, I can almost guarantee it with Patrick Weeks and, and everyone, like, that are, like, there's, a, I think Coran Bush is, like, a big fan of the Solus man's, like, stuff. And so, like... We're in good hands, as in my heart's going to get torn apart, and that's fine. That's fine. That's what I signed up for. But the art on the cards is beautiful. Um, I hope my camera can at least show a little bit of that. And then you get a little bag with the D20. I don't know. D20? I don't know. D Decahedron? Whatever it is. Um, Many-sided dice. <laughs> and But it's got the... Um, like, what is it, the, the conversational icons, right? So you have like, you know, oh, I'm confused, you know, and the aggressive or stoic. And then, you know, this is, I think this is more the aggressive one. This is like the stoic one. Um, and then this one looks like a trickster one. We're bringing back sort of the uh, Dragon Age 2 uh, vibe. Sneaky, stealthy, I don't know, choice. Um, mage, oh, that's probably the rogue. And then this is the... Oh, where did it go? I just saw it. the mage, the mage hand, right? Uh, if you can even see any of these. Um, positive. In warrior, I'm gonna guess. And shock. Love, romance, flirt. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice too. Ah, oh, it's maybe hard to see. There's actually like inside the dice there's like a purple haze you know that is really cool looking honestly i really like that a lot like it looks like it's like got like magic smoke in there you know like the like stuff just being held for the right moment i like this a lot and this would be fun to use during the game if you're like i don't know what to do you know and you're like i don't know what choice to take and you just roll the dice <laughs> and you're like that's what i'm gonna do i guess but no i'm definitely gonna be playing a bit more of a narrated a uh, uh, curated character than just rolling the dice but i do like the dice i think that was everything yeah as far as i know that was everything so I, I'm very glad to finally have some special edition merch for Dragon Age. So anyway, I will, I guess, see you guys for me tomorrow as soon as possible. And then uh, for you guys, you will hopefully see a video from me later today where I at least make it through the character creator. I cannot promise anything else, <laughs> but I'm going to be trying to get the game to download for one thing, which shouldn't be too bad. I, this is pretty good Wi-Fi here. Um, and then uh, going through the character creator while I'm all dressed up. So that will be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Again, I'm going to have some qualms already at the gate. I've got some complaints. But, like, who doesn't? And, like, I'm still... I'm hopeful for the best. You know what I mean? Even if it's not exactly what I wanted, I'm hoping it's a good game. So, uh, see you guys then. <laughs>